course, the main reason why we like electricity, why we're so interested in electricity, is because we can use it to do work. And the concept of power, when I first introduced it back in mechanics, we talked about power being effort times flow. In that case, it was force times velocity. And that's an extremely useful way to think of power. When we talk about fluid flow, it's the same idea. The effort is your pressure and the flow is the literal amount of water per second that's flowing. In electricity, your effort is your voltage, that's your push, and your flow is your current. And so power is voltage times current. This can be, you can substitute into this with Ohm's law, and in fact, on the Reedens reference tables, they do it for you. I think this is the second most insulting thing on the Reedens reference tables, is the fact that they didn't trust you to take R equals V over I and substitute it into uh, power equals VI uh, multiple times. They had to show it all for you. That is the second most insulting thing on the reference tables. The most insulting thing on the reference tables, though, is the next equation, which shows uh, energy is power times time, where they take all those exact equations and then multiply them by time. Because apparently you couldn't be trusted to do that on your own. I don't know. But anyway, electrical power, effort times flow, voltage times current. Here's an example. A 40 volt battery is hooked up to a 10 ohm resistor. Let's calculate A, what is the current flowing through the resistor? B, how much heat is being dissipated by the resistor each second, and C, how much energy is used by the resistor in 30 seconds. Question A is just Ohm's law. I equals V over R, 40 volts over 100 ohms is 4 amps. For B, we can use our answer to A and say power is 40 volts times 4 amps, which is 160 watts. Or, we could use only our given quantities and use P equals V squared over R to get the same answer. And for C, use energy equals power times time to get 4,800 joules. In our next problem, a 3,000 watt hair dryer is plugged into a 120 volt outlet and turned on. How much current does it draw and how much energy does it use in 5 minutes? Use P equals IV to find the current, rearrange, get I equals P over V. Plug in to get 25 amps. For part B, energy is just power times time, so plug in your numbers, convert minutes to seconds, and you get 900,000 joules. A lot of energy, but the right answer.